Cap Chase, sponsored by 188 Bet. Uh, he is the top weight of the race with Jamie Bargreen, Nigel Twiston Davis. Two is seven, Sky. Three, Yala Enki. Four, Wakanda. Five is Henry Parry Morgan. Six, definitely red for Henry Brook. Seven, Al Kempfer, Richie McLernan. Eight, Bally Colour, Gavin Sheehan. Nine, Silver Tassie, Finian O'Toole. And ten, Act in Pieces, Gina Andrews riding for Pam Sly. Coming in, and they're off. They jump away for the feature race here at Weatherby on Boxing Day. The 188 bet, Roland Merrick, Handicap Chase, Grade 3, three miles ahead of them, and 19 fences over the first of them. They come, all landing safely. The lead is with Yala Enki, who went to post rather keenly, but shows up in front and in between at Seventh Sky to the rails and the grey acting pieces nearer to the steps. A length away to Henry Parry Morgan, who runs in fourth, with our Kemper over to the inside. Wakanda is parked out deeper, and then a couple of lengths break back to definitely red. Silver Tassie, Black Lion, the race favourite, over to the inside at the rear of the field in the red and white colours, without a little bit wider on the course bally colour. So heading out towards the far side. Fences two through to six. Coming up along this next part, with numbers three and six being the open ditches. It is Yola Enki setting the pace here together with Act in Pieces. With over towards the inside, Seven Sky, as they prepare to take off at the first fence going down the back. Yola Enki Act in Pieces with the leading pair. Black Lion was the last horse to touch down there. Wasn't necessarily the fastest to cross it either as they head now to the first of the open ditches. Yala Enki with Actin Pieces up to the outside and Auer Kempfer has unseated the rider. Auer Kempfer loses Richie McLernan having blundered badly there. Heading on to the middle of the five going down the back. Actin Pieces a new leader that time over Yala Enki. Seven Sky in the purple jacket over towards the inside of Henry Parry Morgan. Wakanda not too far off these as they lift off at another. And then definitely red, Bally Colour, Silver Tassie, and Black Lion, the favourite, is the back marker at the moment, around about 10 lengths off the gallop. A loose horse now proceeding the field on the approach to an open ditch, but it thankfully doesn't get in the way too much. Act in pieces under Gina Andrews to the outside of Yala Enki and Charlie Deutsch. Yala Enki, the recent winner of the Tommy Whittle chase across at Haydock. They're racing a length or so ahead of Henry Parry Morgan. The Welsh Raider has come all the way up from Haverford West, Peter Bowen's yard. Wakanda is on the outside for much more local handler Sue Smith as they swing the turn back towards the home straight for the first time. Seven Sky, purple jacket, green cap over to the inner, followed through by definitely red, silver tassie, bally colour, and black lion, the Towton and RSA chase winner from last season. The back marker at the moment being held up by Jamie as they came over the first in the landing safely enough. So it is in pieces, heading now to a two-length lead held over Yarnke. Second leader a little scrappy there, with Wakanda to the outside of Henry Parry Morgan, the yellow cap, and over to the inside, Seven Sky with the green cap. A couple of lengths back then to definitely red. As they flip on over another, Wakanda quite low there. Black Lion up against the inside of Silver Tassie and Bally Colour now the back marker. There's eight lengths between first and last as Act in Pieces jumps over the fence in front of the stands bravely. In front by half a length to Yala Enki, who's always been on the premises. Wakanda is a little wider out with a circuit left to go there at halfway. Seven Sky and Henry Parry Morgan are running side by side at present. Two lengths away then to definitely red from Black Lion. Silver Tassie just bumped along on the run away from the stands briefly. And last of all, as they head on out, is Bally Colour. So racing on now to the 11th fence in the Roland Merrick handicap chase. And still, Yala Enki with Act in Pieces, with Yala Enki taking over again here from Act in Pieces, has now also been passed by Wakanda on the outside. Seven Sky is cutting every corner, taking the shortest route, with Henry Parry Morgan in the mix as well. Definitely Red is a little wider out, and then Black Lion, who's now only four or five lengths off the pace, tightly grouped as they cross the first one going down the back. Silver Tassie just on Black Lion's tail, and four lengths away to Bally Colour. 
An open ditch now coming up as fence number 12. Yala Enki and Wakanda were the first two. Wakanda quicker. Oh, and Seventh Sky has crashed out. Seventh Sky is a faller as they race on towards the next horse and rider are both up. It is Yala Enki and Wakanda. That time Yala Enki getting the better of the jumping. Bally color at the back of the field was untidy. Racing on now towards the penultimate fence going down the back. This is six out. Yala Enki to Wakanda, definitely red. With over to the inside, Henry Parry Morgan, three lengths away to Black Lion, who's now clinging on to the coattails of this leading few. A little break then back to Bally Colour, who's now actually getting past Silver Tassie and acting pieces, who's dropped away. As Yala Enki makes a mistake, it wasn't quite as bad as the one that Henry Parry Morgan made, who's gone. Henry Parry Morgan has unseated David Noonan at the last fence going down the side. It is Wakanda then bringing them out of the back straight. Three quarters of a length ahead over, definitely red in second. Yala Enki is now pushed along to the inside of a sweep moving Black Lion and this quartet are now eight lengths ahead of Valley Colour who's a fairly distant fifth in turn clear of Silver Tassie. Left-handed they come, they've got four more fences left across and a half mile to travel in the Roland Merrick and it is Wakanda under Danny Cook for trainer Sue Smith who has such a good record at this meeting in previous years but on the outside definitely Red is travelling well Bargary now working hard on Black Lion back in third as definitely Red moves through to take a slender lead at four fences from home Wakanda keeps himself in the fight with a good jump the far side three or four lengths back to Black Lion who needs a gear change he's flat out and then a break to Yala Enki at the third fence from home definitely Red is up and over by three lengths there to Wakanda. Back in third is Black Lion, who's keeping on at only the one pace and a long gap to Yala Enki. But it's the horse who was beaten by Black Lion here earlier on in the year, definitely Red, who's up and over the second fence from home with a growing lead over Wakanda back in second. Black Lion might well challenge Wakanda shortly for that spot, but definitely Red is safely to the other side of the final fence and is eight lengths away. From Wakanda back in second, Black Lion is in third, and they're racing into the closing stages. This model of consistency definitely Red for Freyna Bryant Ryan Ellison under Henry Brook is going to win the Roland Merrick chase by six or seven lengths. Wakanda for second, Black Lion in third, clear of Yala Enki, Bally Colour and Silver Tassi. Definitely read the winner of this year's Roland Merrick and a wonderful poignant success for his rider, Graham Henry Brook. This young fella, Henry Brook, was helicoptered off the track just under three months ago. Practically every rib was broken. He looks like he might be off games for a long, long while. He's back, back with a bang, nearly won a big race at Aintree the other week. He has got this one. This is a smart chaser.